growing up wrestling, he always set the bar for me. He was like a big bully in wrestling in a good way. He was like such a juggernaut to where it took my like style of wrestling, honestly, ever since we were, were even a kid. I was like more of a smooth wrestler, but he brought the, the bruteness out of me. From the start, he was a natural leader. He was quiet, but his presence was felt every single time we stepped on the mat. I don't know anybody that was more humble their accolades. It was pretty rare for Zach to show emotion, but when he did, he knew it was worth showing. Training together, he made me tough. Um, and then when it came to competing together, he just, uh, he did what any big brother should do, kind of lead the way. My junior year, his sophomore year, we became drilling partners and workout partners, both during wrestling season and then in the off season. Zach worked me over every single day. For me to to get a win was few and far between. Beating Zach in practice was always a goal of mine, and the, the opportunity didn't come very often. However, when it did come, he made me pay for it. My freshman year was the funnest year I had, actually, just because I got to be with that whole team. And obviously all the seniors at the time, you know, you got McLaughlin, you got the Hooks, Carl, just a bunch of studs around. I loved that year more than anything. So yeah, Zach was a big leader in that year for us. And when he was a senior, I was a sophomore. It was just fun having him on the team, like a returning state champ. You don't have too many of those in high school. So we had him on our team going everywhere and he was my brother also. So it just added more oomph to us whenever we were at any tournament. People knew that like when, when Nelson New York came to a tournament and they saw Zach May's name on their bracket, that it was going to be a dog fight and it wasn't going to be an easy tournament for whoever else was on the other side. We knew that if we were in a position to where a couple of points in a dual meet or in a tournament were going to make the difference between winning or losing, we could always count on Zach to come, come away with big points. He put in a lot of work and there's a reason why he was like one of the most annoying people in the state of Ohio actually to wrestle against. Like, you know, he wasn't a fun opponent. One of the best wrestlers I have known personally and someone that I always looked up to. He is a mentor. Zach knew that there was a purpose behind everything we did. He was a year behind me in school, but he was always teaching me new things. Like, he had this wealth of knowledge that he wasn't just holding on to for himself. Like, he was willing to give everything he had mentally, physically, to those around him and help develop his peers and those below him and above him. He was really fun to watch. He did have a lot of work ethic. He's just a natural beast, a natural juggernaut. He doesn't stop. My brother's a much more natural, natural beast. Knowing my, my drilling partner, my practice partner, was the best in the state was a pretty cool feeling for me because I knew that I was going to get the best Day in and day out, I was getting to work with the best in the state. Watching Zach finish off at his junior season, number one in the state was, it was surreal. Him and Thomas both deserved that. He's very deserving of this reward or being in this uh, group of people. He's a natural born leader and he's someone who like actively led to. Yeah, I'm proud of him. I think he's very deserving. I put a lot of my thanks in Zach helping develop who I am today. So I just appreciate everything that he's done for me and all that he's done for Nelsonville, York and the sport of wrestling in our area.